Good evening. This is Chris Courtney, the Community Coordinator for Siouxland Cares. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome you all to this important discussion on vaping. Uh, tonight, we're here to delve into the world of vaping, its impact on our community, and most importantly, how each of us can play a role in making a positive difference. So specifically, what we'll be discussing is what vaping is, why and how it got so popular among youth, the adverse health risk that vaping presents, what to look for if you suspect that your child or your friend may be vaping, and how to approach others about vaping. So what exactly is vaping? Vaping refers to the act of inhaling or exhaling vapor produced by an electronic cigarette or similar device. These devices typically contain a battery powered heating element that vaporizes a liquid solution often known as e-liquid or vape juice. Uh, this e-liquid e contains nicotine, flavorings, and other chemicals, which to the user are oftentimes unknown. Displayed is three of the more popular options for vaping devices. On your left is the tank vape mods, which are often larger devices that allow users to refill them with e-liquid. These devices often produce more vapor, giving the user a significantly greater and unhealthier tolerance for nicotine. In the center are pod mods or pod devices. On the other hand, um, they are smaller, more discrete devices that use pre-filled pods containing e-liquid and oftentimes feature a special charger designed specifically for the device. Uh, they are marketed as convenient and user-friendly, making them popular among younger users. Uh, finally, on your right, we have disposable vapes. Uh, these are single-use devices that come pre-filled with e-liquid and are designed to be discarded after use. They are often marketed in a variety of flavors and may be especially attractive to beginners and younger users due to their simplicity, discreteness, and lack of maintenance. The latter two, um, that is the pod devices and disposables, are often accessible in most places that sell tobacco products like gas stations and convenience stores, which makes them easily attainable for youth. Vaping has emerged as a popular trend among youth primarily due to a number of factors. First, the widespread availability and marketing of vaping products, often featuring appealing flavors and sleek designs, have made them attractive to young people. Additionally, the misconception that vaping is less harmful than traditional cigarettes has contributed to its appeal, with many youth perceiving it as a safer alternative, uh, which of course it is not. Social influences, including peer pressure in the portrayal of vaping in popular culture and social media, also play a significant role in its uptake among youth. Uh, furthermore, the discrete nature of vaping devices, which can be easily concealed and used without detection, has made them appealing to teenagers seeking to experiment. Uh, the thing to remember is that it's crucial to recognize that vaping carries significant health risk, including nicotine addiction, respiratory issues, and potential long-term health consequences, making it imperative to address and prevent its use among youth. Vaping posts significant health risk, particularly for young people, one of the primary concerns is nicotine addiction, as many vaping products contain high levels of nicotine, which is highly addictive and can harm brain development in adolescents. It can also exasperate anxiety, depression, and other mental health disorders. Additionally, the aerosol produced by vaping devices contains harmful chemicals, including volatile organic compounds and heavy metals, which can damage the lungs and lead to respiratory problems. Long-term vaping has been associated with an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and lung conditions such as asthma, chronic obtrusive pulmonary disease, and even collapsed lungs. Vaping can have significant impacts on your health and overall physical and mental well-being. It's, it's essential to understand the potential risk associated with vaping. If parents have concerns about their child's potential vaping habits, or if children suspect that their friends might be vaping, they should watch for several signs. First, be wary of any unfamiliar vaping devices or cartridges. Pay attention to any unusual scents like fru fruity or sweet smells on their clothes or in their bedroom or on their school supplies. 
Keep an eye out for changes in behavior, such as increased irritability, anxiety, or secrecy about activities. Additionally, watch for physical signs like coughing, throat irritation, nosebleeds, and increased thirst. One should try to be aware of any changes in their child or friend's academic performance or social circle. It's essential to have open and non-judgmental conversations with others about vaping and its potential risks to, to their health, certainly in situations where you find that your child or your friend or another loved one is vaping. Start by expressing your concern for their health and well-being and let them know that you're not angry, but rather worried about the potential risk associated with vaping and how that might impact their health. Encourage open communication by asking them why they started vaping and how it makes them feel. Be willing to listen to their perspective without judgment and try to understand their reasons for vaping. Then be willing to provide them with factual information about the dangers of vaping, including the risk of nicotine addiction, respiratory issues, and long-term health consequences. Emphasize that you want to support them in making healthy choices and offer to help them quit. Suggest activities that you can do together that will take their mind off of vaping. Creating a supportive environment where they feel comfortable discussing their choices and concerns can help parents and friends address the issue effectively and guide others towards healthier behaviors. So I'm gonna leave you this QR code to access. Uh, this will lead you to the Community in Crisis Vaping resource page. It includes the latest news, policy updates, and resources on vaping. It also includes comprehensive vaping education, a parent's vaping and tip guide, podcast, and other resources. Um, just about anything vaping related that could be useful to you could can be found here. Thank you for listening.